Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts and Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. We're back, and that means you are too, right here on The Local Show. Happy spring, enjoying the weather, and, uh, you know, I think that my um, construction stuff is going to start. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I've got everything torn apart. You're going to be sleeping at the Zoe Safe yeah. Harbor uh, well, studios here? <laughs> we, I might be. <laughs> we, we moved the kitchen table into the living room, so that'll be going on, and uh, we'll eat there, which is kind of neat because it's got the TV in there, I just realized. Did, so. did you count in the budget? Did you count the cost of we're going to have to eat every, I eat out every no. night as we redo the kitchen? Remember, Kelly and I are very strict on this whole eating thing. Doc, don't say it too loud. Dr. Barry will you know, cut me off. Yeah, can I have one of those french fries? <laughs> Get out of here. There's no French fries here, folks. Check the well, YouTube not anymore. channel. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, John. You don't, you don't play either. No, come on. Tom. Gravy. Gravy. <laughs> <laughs> And that's something. No, no, we got to stay clean, stay clean. But yeah, you know, it's funny. The the people do, you know, you get into these construction projects. It's always more than you think. Yep. And uh, people going nutty. But I, I, it's a hybrid because I'm trying to save money, obviously. <laughs> right. I don't have John Murphy money where I can just pay for somebody to come in and do it all. The only person <laughs> who's got John Murphy money is Jan Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, folks. Well, anyway, we're going to be talking with attorney John Murphy right now. He's the owner of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts, a perennial favorite here on the local show because, uh, you know, this audience wants to know those things because they're of that age and Tom, uh, we are of that age i know we are okay, that's just, what i mean just well, let you that's know. our our age group yeah yes between you know 25 me yeah. and 110 you yeah young people should care <laughs> right people, well yeah because it's always the right time to right. plan right uh, isn't it well, absolutely right i you know like we have people who came a client of ours they went to an, another attorney in town general practice attorney mm-hmm. somebody i know and they said oh you're too young for a will oh, and i said geez. And uh, thankfully, they were smart enough to understand that attorney didn't know what they were talking about. Yeah. Because I know the attorney, and I know he's not uh, omniscient, you know? Right. I mm-hmm. know he doesn't know when people are going to pass away. Um, we never know when our time is. I, there's a Yiddish phrase. I love it in this area. I use it all the time in my workshops. Man plans, God laughs. Yes. Right? Yeah, so we, we don't, don't know. know what the future holds for us. So why not just get prepared and have it done? Yeah. Then you yeah. don't have to worry about it. Right. It's a sword of Damocles hanging over people. We really should do that sometime. Oh, but wait, there's a ball game on. Right. You know. Right. You just had some workshops here last week, right? We did. We had some uh, great workshops. We had about, you know, fifty uh, folks or so. Wow. Yeah. You're right. right over up. the course of a couple of workshops. Yep. Sure. Uh, lots of education, uh, unlearning things people thought they knew to be true. Yeah. Um, mostly that, boy, if I have a will, then my family gets to skip probate. Uh, no, uh, a will is your speed pass to probate. <laughs> you know? Right. Uh, it takes you right in. In order to use a last will and testament, it must go through the surrogate court process, which is known as probate. And um, probate means uh, prove the will. Prove the will. Yes. Yeah. Probate actually from probatus, Latin, meaning prove, judge, um, yeah. Exactly. Yes. What other what other questions were coming out? Is there anything seasonal or what, what's what's common? What were people wanting to know? Oh, we had some really really great questions. I'm trying to remember them. Um, a lot of stuff about how does Medicaid work? Uh, how quickly should I get my stuff into a trust if I don't want to lose it to long term care? Uh, as soon as possible, right? Man plans, <laughs> right. God laughs. We yeah. never know what's going to happen. Um, you know, another one was. Uh, how would I pay for things if I put stuff into a trust? What if I went into a nursing home sooner than five years? Right. So we always have money that we can access, either your retirement accounts uh, to get you in, or we have a trap door in our trust. You could write a check to the kids, and the kids could pay for the for the um, long-term care. So we never have a don't have a way to get things done for you. It's just a little complex, and to try and explain it in a two-hour window. Right. I, I heard you say though. that uh, a will is more expensive than a trust. Wink, wink. Yeah, yeah, it is. All, all in, if, if you look, a lot of what I find is uh, parents say, well, you know, this is our, our money and then it'll go to the kids. I like to look at the family as an economic unit, right? What's the least expensive method of passing on assets to the family? <clears throat> and it's almost always a trust. Why is that? A will, 
once it goes through the probate process, in general, is going to cost about 5% of your entire estate. All right. The a- national average is 3 to 7%. I use 5%. I can do that math in my head. If you have a $300,000 house, just using a house, on average, the cost is $15,000. Now, that's court fees, lawyers' fees, executors' commissions, appraisals, all those things. Okay? Uh, can it be less? Can it be more? Sure. If you have a, let's say a will cost for a husband and wife, power of attorney, healthcare proxy will, $1,500, just to use a number. Right. Okay? And if you just got a revocable trust plan, which includes all those other documents, and it was $3,500, then none of that, the house does not go through probate. So you save fifteen thousand dollars. So, so you spend two thousand dollars more. Save Ten grand. Yeah. Okay. And what else does the trust do? It bypasses the whole court system. You don't have to. It's not public knowledge. You can expedite things, get things wrapped up pretty quickly in the probate process. The state's supposed to stay open for seven months. Um, so any creditors, even if you know there's not creditors, a lot of times the judge says, "I'm not closing the estate till the seven months is gone." Wow. So it has to hang out there. Would you agree? And of course you don't have to because I'm nobody. Don't agree because he said it, no matter what it is. Exactly. (laughs) But that people these days have more things, more material possessions. So it's more important than ever to protect those and and leave them for the people that you want to have them. Well, I I mean. Boats, cars, camps. Yeah, boats, cars, camps, second homes, you know, third homes. Right, right. Um, Most, many of our clients. Yeah. Could live simply on their retirement accounts. Yeah. Right. They have enough money that between Social Security and things, if they needed an extra $500 a month, they could take that money out of their retirement account Mm -hmm. and live comfortably. Sure. But they've been conditioned to say, Oh, don't take out more money from your retirement accounts than you have to because you have to pay taxes. Mm -hmm. Well, that landscape, that argument really changed in 2020 when the SECURE Act came in, which said now when you leave those retirement accounts to your children, they have to take those out over 10 years and pay income tax. Mm -hmm. So within 10 years of your death, all that money is going to be taxed. Usually the parents in retirement pay a lesser rate of income tax than do the children when they're working. Okay. Right? Yeah. So why shouldn't the parents pay less tax and save kids right. from paying more tax? Plus, if your kids have to take that out over a 10-year period and you have grandchildren going to college, guess what income is on mom and dad's financial aid form, oh, right, which is yeah. going to screw up any, sure. any financial aid that you might get. Yeah. If you're a divorced person and you're paying child support, guess what gets added into your child support calculations? those okay. distributions. Sure. So I just did one with some folks today. I said, how long would it take you to take a thousand dollars a month out of your accounts? If you needed that, they did the math, uh, you know, like 10 years, 11 years, right. <laughs> but they don't still didn't want to touch it. Oh no. They, that, yeah, we're moving everything else okay. into the trust. Yeah. 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 No, they get it. Right. right. If you look sure. at it from math and not the emotional <clears throat> thing of, I don't want to pay tax on it. Understand <clears throat> either you or your kids are going to pay tax on it. Right. Why don't you take the pound, the hit, the emotional hit? So a trust is more important for a middle class person than it is an uber rich person, even. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, because particularly with what we do, Steve, which is protecting people's home and life savings from long term care. A uh, you know, Loretto is now slightly over seventeen thousand dollars a month oh for long term care. That's incredible. So if you're a person of relatively <clears throat> modest means, mm-hmm. say five hundred thousand yeah. dollars in assets. <laughs> Uh, multiply that by 17000 Now, if the average stay in a nursing home is 30 months, that's, I think, 510000 right now. Oh, oh, my yeah. gosh. Safeharborwillsandtrust.com. Um, if you want to call over there and ask a question to one of the case managers, 370-9977. Write that down, 370-9977. John Murphy from safeharborwillsandtrust.com. Tom? Have a great rest of the day, John. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Brian Dumont coming up next, president of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan, right here on The Local Show on 570 WSYR.